Read all the stories at homeoffice.studio and watch all the videos to get an exceptionally advanced, entertaining education. So an artisan is, uh, you know, it's just an artist, you know, working on your uh, creating art, creating lots of content, creating lots of art. Um, So I'm making this website, you know, the, the three pieces, well, I'm actually, I actually have two pieces of hardware that I use, my Samsung Note 9 phone and my Canon Rebel SL2 camera. And I take lots of, I've got thousands of pictures that I've taken with both of those. And, and I use the Samsung Note 9 to make the videos. And the, I could make videos with the Canon. It's just that I've never set that up and tried it. And another thing, you know, what I've kind of been thinking about getting my next little tool that I want to get is a drone so I can take aerial photo videos. That would be really cool, I think. And um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about file management and I wanted to show you a little bit about how you know I get this set up and I've gotten pictures I got all these pictures in here and I've set this up so my drawings are in this file called art and then I got all these files this these uh, directories full of photographs and I, I just been using Dolphin to, to manage my photos because I haven't, I want to get into using uh, Digicam, but I, I just, I'm not there yet. You know, uh, here's my home office studio. Here's all the files for the, the, the website. And each website would have a file right here like this on the kind of the, in your home page. And, you know, and I got the blog posts and I got the pages. And here's the one I'm working on right now. And I have a whole bunch of, I did a bunch of stuff yesterday and it turned out to be not very good. So I, I, I put all that in here and I got this, you know, I'm working, I'm using this right here. And so I just wanted to show you this, you know, it's, it's, um, uh, KDE's Dolphin file manager works great. You can move files back and forth from left to right, and that makes it really easy to do that. And then another thing I wanted to show you is Digicam. <clears throat> I've, I've tried to use this. It's just it, it's another complicated you know, piece of software and, and digi, but, and I would kind of eventually like to get to start using this and organizing my photos, but it's, I'm busy doing other things, creating content. Here's, here's a few, I put some in here so I could kind of practice using it. And, uh, you know, I really don't know much about how to use this tool. But it's uh, you. You should be able to do a little bit of editing, and um, and the main thing, what what you do is you, you you set these photos up to where they would be in categories and things like that, and you would cr create categories like you could say have nature photos or you know, land, uh, landscape photos or uh, uh, skyline photographs or, you know, different kinds like that or people photographs. And, uh, and you'd set, you'd, and set, you'd have a whole file system right here full of these and it'd all be organized and you could do some editing in here, but this isn't your main editing tool. You know, that's another tool. You know, we have, we have other tools for that. And so that's Digicam. Darktable is a, is a tool. It's almost a cross between Digicam and GIMP. It's almost like Digicam and GIMP put together where you have quite a bit of uh, 
you have your file management capabilities and your file and your photo editing capabilities with Darktable. And so that's a good one to use. I've used that a little bit. Raw Therapy is one of my favorite. It's more of a photo editing tool. And I don't know if you could use that as a file, as a photo management tool, but it does have some capabilities in that. And of course, GIMP is your file, is your photo editing tool. That's, that's my, the tool I use to edit my photographs, you know. <clears throat> you can, uh, crop photos and you can change the angle so if, if they're not level you could level them out and things like that using GIMP and uh, you can use raw therapy to do that too I use sometimes I use raw therapy but lately I've been using GIMP and uh, your drawing tools you can use Inkscape and Krita are pretty close to the same thing. One is a GTK tool, and Krita is a uh, Inkscape is, is GTK and Krita is uh, QT. And I tell you the truth, I'm not sure what Inkscape is. I know that Krita is cute, and uh, and I'm not sure what K Inkscape is, but I'm pretty sure it's GTK. And then Blender is your 3D animation. Inkscape is a is a drawing tool. You can draw shapes and uh, <clears throat> lines and shapes and things like that. Krita is a, a painting tool, and they both do pretty much the same thing. I mean, they're slightly different versions, you know. One, one you know, but they pretty much do the same thing. Blender is your 3D drawing tool, and you can do some animation in there, and uh, but there's probably other programs that you could use for the animation, but the Blender, you can create your characters in 3D characters in Blender, so for your 3D cartoons and things like that. And uh, but that's a really complicated tool. From what I've seen, I, I looked at it, and one day I saw some what the people do with that and I'm going you know what I really I wish I was 20 something because it would be worth it for me to spend a lot of time trying to learn that one tool but I just figured you know what I I need to I can create content without blender but if I could do blender I would do it because it is an amazing tool and so I, I recommend that you take a look at it and uh, let's see if you can use it in your you know, artists in your studio, your art studio. Impress is the tool you're, it, it creates things like what you're looking at right there that uh, it's just a presentation software. You know, it's open office, it's presentation software. I use that for uh, making these videos. It helps me so I don't repeat myself too much and kind of helps guide me through a, a decent presentation because I have a tendency to wander around and not get everything said. I forget things. Scribus is a book writing, you know, self-publishing tool and you can write, because when you do use it, you have to write like, you write your book and it's in a file and then you have to, ins you know, enter it into Scribus and you line up every page. You have to do each page individually and that way you can make sure everything's lined up right and it looks right for a, as a book. And, and then when you get it all done and you, you export it and then you can send that into your self-publishing book and they can publish it, you know. And uh, if you, when you use, if you install Scribe, make sure you install GhostScript before you install Scribus because it uses that Ghost Script library, and you need that on your computer. And then when you install Scribus, it will automatically find the, the Ghost Script, and everything will be fine. Otherwise, if you do a, if you put, if you install Scribus first, you're gonna, and then install Ghost Script because Scribus won't work without Ghost Script, and so you can 
uh, you know, show scribes where a ghost script is if you do it the other way around. Because I did that one time, and it was kind of a little bit of a nuisance. But uh, I did get it fixed. And you're, uh, and then just you got to create content, a lot of content. You know, uh, I figure prolific, be a prolific artist. Write stories, make videos, draw. You know, one of the things I uh, really like is, uh, you know, art. Things like this right here, uh, desktop backgrounds. You know, I mean, we need more stuff like that. And keep working on it, you know, keep working on your, uh, you know, here's a, I was looking at drones, you know, you can get them for anywhere from $100 to, you know, thousands of dollars, you know, so, but they're not uh, un unreasonable, you know, you can get them. You got to make sure your art, I, you know, when I first started this, uh, making these videos, they were really not very good. But I kept making them because it was the stories, the content of the story is the most important part to me. And so I was doing that and I thought, you know, now that I'm put, making these, little, you know, I've been doing it for almost a year now. You know, I started in February. No, it was April 1st when I made my first video, actually. Because uh, I thought that was kind of weird. I was thinking about April, you know April Fool's Day, <laughs> yeah, you know, when I was made my first video. But I've been making videos ever since April, and um, now it's December, and I'm getting a little quite a bit better than I was when I first started. And I'm still not all that great, but and what I one thing I've learned is you get better by repetition. You learn how to do this by repetition. You build websites, just like you build websites. You build websites, you learn how to build websites by building websites. You just start building your website and, you know, creating content and using a verb, you know, f find the tools that you like because there's different tools you can use and uh, just keep working on it and, uh, you know, Pay attention to the quality and the quantity, you know, because you need to create a lot of it. You know, if you're going to attract attention and make something valuable, you know, and I'm trying to teach you how to make your website valuable and you, I make your website attractive. You know, I've seen one, I remember, this was years ago, where... I saw this video where the guy just walked onto the camera, you know, and his feet were down on the edge of my screen right there, like that. That was the stage. And he just walked in from one side and was talking, just like, a, and it was like a photo of the guy, but he was walking on the, walking onto the screen, you know. It was kind of neat, man, and I don't know how to do anything like that, but you, you know, make your website attractive. You know, and uh, attract it to, uh, people and uh, make it valuable, make it interesting, make it entertaining education, make it a very valuable, entertaining education. And um, that's what I'm trying to do. And I, you can do that too. And, you know, whatever, whatever your favorite subject is, you know, it's up to you what you'd like to write about. The artisan is probably the most important part of this website, I think, because that's what I want to be, is an art artisan, you know, an artist. And, uh, you know, I'm, mainly what I want to be is a holistic healer and teacher. That's what I want to do. And, but I want to do it in a, you know, I want to, I want to use this technology to do that. That's my, my plan. You know, and, and, to, and to use this website to transmit a healing message, you know, that teaches people how to prosper. And, uh, you know, I would, wouldn't mind having some help doing this. If you're interested, my web, my name is on every page of the website. Uh, my phone, I don't, my phone is out of order for the temporarily, so I can't really use that. 
here's the website and here's my email right here and if you're interested in working on helping me do this website you know it would be really cool to have some i would like to build a team because i i believe that website building is is a team if you know you should have you know i say use your whole family as your primary team but it could be just some people working together on a website if you know five or ten people you know, a small team of people working on a website. And you could have several websites. I can tell you, I've learned that this is, there is a, a lot of work in making a website. You know, and that's why I wish I had some help because, you know, there's certain things I wish they were seen a lot better. See, this old original web movie video is not very good. It's kind of goofy. You know, but here's my website, and you, this whole, everything about it is a piece of art. And uh, so just keep working on, you know, your website. You know, I use a WordPress, and uh, I got a theme on here, a particular theme. Is, you know, and so all this is kind of, a lot of this is done automatically. I didn't create, necessarily create all this by myself. There was a theme that I bought, I paid for the theme, and um, WordPress is free and open source software, but, uh, and I use that, and, but uh, Bluehost is my hosting service, I use Bluehost. I have a book for sale on here, Holistic Home Office, the book. If you click on any of the links on the website for Bluehost and buy something from Bluehost, then I would get a small commission from that, you know. So that's my affiliate marketing program. I use uh, C, uh, CJ Affiliates is the affiliate marketing company I use. And I got my little donate, you know, it's PayPal donate thing there. I would. If you think that supplying free and open source um, education for homeless drug addicts, you know, or people that are struggling is a good idea, you know, I, I, I would appreciate any donations. And, uh, you know, and it's just all about healing, helping people recover and prosper in life. You know, though I figure we got to make it easy for people to get jobs. You know, this cancel culture is evil. You know, we need to be making it easy for people to work. Everybody needs to work. And it's really weird. I'm in a big city, Seattle. I'm in Seattle and it's a big city. And, you know, and I'm, I need help because I lost my job. So I kind of go hang, hang around the helper places and they're most of the people they're running around trying to get the government to take care of them and i'm like going what are you guys doing man i don't want that's not what i want i want i like capitalism i want to work and uh i what i really want to do is work on this website i want to do this full time i want this to be a business that's why it's called holistic home office you know the holistic healing part I figure, you know, that's something I want to do too. And I figured the whole, I would start with Holistic Home Office and teach people how to make money. And then once I got that, the income flowing, I could start focusing on the holistic healing. And it's, I always intended on having it as two different websites. And, but I'm thinking, I, I've kind of been doing it all, everything on this one website. And I've been thinking lately, I've been thinking, it's actually, I got three websites in my mind. One is this one, the Holistic Home Office, how profitable, prosperity. The second one is the holistic healing and teaching, you know, just, te you know, how to natural, eat f good, healthy food, just things like that. Don't use any drugs. You know, you, all drugs are harmful, you know, and I teach people not to use any kind of drug. Um, but the third one is this world unity, you know, and the whole one world civilization that's just kind of being born on Earth right now. 
and I like to write about that and talk about that. So, so it's actually three different websites. But right now, it's everything is on one website, you know. And I, if I started, what I would probably do is I would split this one off. What I, what I do, I do is just like the book. The book is a lot of these stories right here, you know. Not all of them, because for one thing, I've edited these stories a lot since I wrote that book, so they're quite a little bit different. But a lot of these, like especially like these ones right here. This is a big part of this book right here. So you can read a, a part of the book just from, by reading the website. But if you would rather read it in a book format, that's what you do. You go here and you, you can purchase it. You can get an e-book or a regular book. And, uh, you know, so that's what I'm trying to do, and so far I haven't been attracting any traffic. Attracting traffic is, I think, the main thing. For one thing, I'm wondering if having the dot .studio is causing part of the problem on that. I've, I've been using Yoast for, to a, as a search engine optimization, and I just kind of follow the instructions Yoast gives me, not very well. You know, I, I try to follow them, and it's, so, it's still not attracting a lot of attention. You know, I get, you know, a handful of visitors from all around the world. The one good thing I got going is it is pretty global. But uh, I would, I wish, I need to get up, to, you know, I need to get into, at least into the hundreds of people that come and look at the website. and I. That's why I definitely could use, if anybody knows anything about website development or writing or anything, it doesn't have to be website development. If you know anything about holistic healing and teaching or business or computers or websites or be an artist, online artist, or recovery, species about recovery, you know, that's what that's all about. And so I'm interested in, and I'm, you know, open to suggestions. I do, I am kind of, you know, I got my plan that I want to work on. I don't want to argue with anybody about anything, but I don't mind different op op opinions and different perspectives. Uh, you know, a diverse assortment of perspective is a good thing. You know, as long as we're all kind of going ahead and in the same direction, which basically capitalist, I like capitalism and free enterprise. I like free and open source software, but I've been having a little doubts about that because I like capitalism, which is private property, you know, is, a, is an important part of capitalism. And I like private property. In fact, the reason I use free and open source software is I read the Microsoft Windows user agreement and I just, when I finished reading it, my answer was no, I don't agree that Microsoft owns the software on my computer. It's my computer and I own it and I own the software and the hardware. But uh, with uh, free and open source software, nobody owns it. And that's better than Microsoft owning it, but it's not exactly what I don't want. And so. But anyway, I, I just want to write a story, you know, tell a story about being an artist, you know, and use these tools like Inkscape and Krita and your photos and make art that's on screen, you know, visual art. That's what I want to do. And uh, I want to teach you to do that. And, you know, everybody's going to have most of the people I figure that want to learn about Holistic Home Office are not, their business is not going to be websites or computers or anything like that. They're going to have a business and they want to use the websites and the computers to present their, you know, as a tool to sell their whatever their product is. And that's kind of what I'm trying to teach people is how to, you know, there's this every, there's all these different clouds of artificial intelligence. You know, Amazon has one, Microsoft has one, there, there's hundreds of them, there's thousands of them. 
Um, United Nations has one, you know, or at least one, you know. And what I'm trying to teach you how to do is to build your own private cloud of artificial intelligence and learn how to do that. And I don't know how to do it. I'm just learning this stuff while I'm, and I'm telling you how to do it while I'm learning how to do it. But the main thing is, is, is it's not so much, you don't necessarily have to build the whole thing by yourself. What you do is you learn how to harness the artificial intelligence that's already there. It's this global, there, like I said, there's many different clouds and it's all one cloud kind of all at the same time and you learn how to harness it you know you learn how to host your hosting company you know you are you going to work do you want to use the c panel which is what bluehost and a lot of the companies you know it's that's probably the least expensive way to go and you learn how to use the c panel and 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 cloudflare is how you get it spread out all over the world because they got the servers on all the different continents and they got many servers all around the world so that it's it, they don't you know if somebody in india is trying to you know look at a page on my server in seattle it's going to take a long time for it to get there but if we are i already have my website on servers in asia then it's not going to take that long Things like that. You got to learn how to do all that stuff. You get your domain name. You get and and you get your website set up, and you make it a really pretty, attractive, you know, smooth flowing, you know, tool to present your business. Whatever your story is, you know, uh, you and you get really good at it. You know, you practice. You're gonna have to. It's work. You know, but it's kind of fun work. You know, I like doing it. It's like being an artist. You know, no matter what your business is, be an artist. You know, you, your, your business may be something other than your art, but what I'm trying to teach you here is to be an artist and present your business in an attractive way that attracts attention. And not only does it attract attention, but it keeps your audience entertained because what you another thing you got to be aware of is uh, people coming and they look at your website for a few seconds and then they leave that's not the kind of traffic you want you want people to come and stay and you got to figure out what your unique selling proposition is and things like that you know what what are you offering and you know and you want to try to funnel and lead your audience to your most wanted response what is your figure out what is your most wanted response and then design your website to lead your your audience to take that most wanted response you know to, and you know and so and things like that and so it takes a lot of work you got to learn you got to read read the documentation, read the manual, and you gotta read a lot of different manuals, learn how to program, you know. I would I would start with C, you know. I'll tell anybody to start with C. It's not the easiest language to learn, but it's kind of one of the original languages, you know, and it's pretty, I guess it's not, there's some like, there's a whole bunch of languages that came before C, but C is a pretty old language. It's from the 1960s. And um, and just create art. You know, you got photographs, you got drawing, digital drawing, and uh, you got writing. That's one. And now telling stories like I'm doing right now. You could also do just podcasts, so you're just, it's just your audio and without the video. That's another alternative way of telling your stories. You know, be a storyteller, a story, you know, get good at telling stories and uh, have fun doing it. You know, and and like I said, get get your whole family involved in it, and you know each person would have different talents and interests, and just work together on it, 
and you can teach your kids a good work ethic and things like that. You know, I grew up on a farm, and so I kind of caught the tail end of that family farmer business. They kind of, the corporations kind of bought all the farms, you know, and it's really sad what they did to them farmers with the whole death tax you know all the kids had to pay this giant tax when the parents died and they inherited the farm they had to sell the farm to pay the taxes and so now all the corporations own all the farms and it's a sad thing you know I mean there's still some family farms but it's not like it used to be I think I don't know I left you know I got more, I was more interested in the computers and the technology and science and technology anyway. Although sometimes I kind of regret doing that. I, because, but, you know, you could, farmers could do this. This would be a great business for farmers because you, you, you know, you wouldn't be able to do a lot of work on it in the summertime when you're busy working on the farm. But then the winter, when everything slows down because you're kind of, riding the storm out, you know, you could you create some art and and figure out a way to create a little extra streams of income on your website and tell your stories. What's your story? You know, we want just imagine what this is going to this internet is so brand new. Nobody knows what it's going to be like and just imagine that all, everything is recorded this global cloud of artificial intelligence is going to keep growing from now on. And that is an amazing thing. And, and, uh, and so add value to that. You know, figure out ways that you can add value to that global cloud of artificial intelligence. And uh, make it sustainable, make it beautiful, make it valuable. And, uh, you know, make sure, you know, your business is, is good for everybody. It's, you know, there's no, because if your business is harmful to anybody, that is not business. It's corruption. Business is never harmful. You know, you know, you, the, you, if, cause that's corruption. And if you accidentally harm somebody, then you fix it. You know, you're responsible for that. And this whole, I, you know, I like capitalism and free enterprise. I'm not so much liking co co competition. I, I believe that uh, I want everybody to prosper. I want all earthlings to prosper. And that's what I'm, one thing I'm trying to do here is trying to help all earthlings prosper. I want any, everyone to prosper, anyone, you know, I, that's just the way I, I believe it's possible and I believe everybody should be working on that and we should be making it as easy as possible for people to prosper. And um, I think art is going to be one good way to do that because, you know, we got machines that do a lot of the work as far as physical manual labor, we, we have machines doing so what the people, we, the people of Earth, are going to have to, it's going to be are using our minds to create value, to add value to the whole eco economy. And um, art is a really important part of that. And, you're, and you got to remember, you're competing against some really good artists, so you've got to be realistic and you've got to make art that is really excellent and work on it. You know, like as you can see, mine, it's blurry. I wish that was a, I wish this was a super crystal clear picture of Seattle instead of this kind of blurry one, you know. And, uh, you know, just keep working on it, you know. And, uh, you know, because I've noticed as I work on this, I learn. I get better and better at it. I'm getting better and better at it. And, and that's what you can do it to. Anybody can do this. You know, you got to be kind of, 
I read a lot, so I, I don't mind reading technical manuals. So, you know, and most people are not like that. And so that's why I'm telling these stories, to help you get started. All, all I'm trying to do is help you get started. It's going to be up to you. You're going to have to do the research. I use DuckDuckGo. I use Decenter and DuckDuckGo, you know, to do my research. Thanks for watching. If you would like to read some of these stories in a, in a book format, you can purchase the book Holistic Home Office on the website or, or Amazon.com. You know, it's available on Barnes & Noble. If you think that this, supplying this education for free for, you know, to help poor homeless drug addicts and people like that to recover and become prosperous citizens, then you can donate and I would appreciate any donations and have a great day and peace be with you.